Well, the mid-season patch is now live, and with that also comes the One Punch Man collab event. The Moomin Rider skin will actually be a free reward, a part of the event, by simply just playing the game. But you can obtain the other skins for 4,400 Overwatch coins in a bundle, or you can buy them separately. The Genji skin is going to be 1,900 coins. The Kiriko skin is going to be 2,100 coins. And the Doomfist skin is going to be 2,500 coins. Remember, you cannot use your Overwatch credits on these. These do need to be obtained with Overwatch coins instead. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get right into these balance changes. I'm not really sure if I would call this a nerf, but Orisa's Terror Surge, which is an ultimate, can now be canceled by Sombra's hack. It's a very minor change, and Sombra's pretty niche right now, so I'm not really sure how impactful this is. For Romacho, this really isn't a nerf or a buff. It's more of like a quality of life change. You no longer need to exit your Nemesis form before using Annihilation to get the armor refresh. Now, if you use Annihilation while in Nemesis mode, it'll automatically refresh your armor for you. If I had to pick though, I would honestly say this is more of like a minor buff. Roadhog has actually received some changes which will allow him to hook a lot more now. His chain hook cooldown now starts when the ability ends instead of at the start, but the cooldown has been reduced from 8 seconds to 6 seconds. For Reckoning Ball, his grappling claw has now got a timeout indicator located above the ability icon. This will indicate the maximum duration before automatically detaching. And for his minefield, the arming time has been increased from 1 second to 1.25 seconds which should give you a bit more time to escape his ultimate. We've also added two new settings for him, one of which being relative aim sensitivity while rolling. This will allow you to basically adjust your sensitivity when you're rolling around versus when you're ADSing. And they also added a gyro relative sensitivity while rolling, and this is only for N Nintendo Switch players. Zarya is actually getting one of her changes reverted, which will decrease the cooldown on her barriers for herself and her teammates, which should help with her overall effectiveness. Ash, in my opinion, is getting a pretty huge change. Bob will now prefer to shoot at targets that Ash damages with her rifle. So instead of just throwing, throwing him out and Bob just soaking up the tank, he will now specifically aim for whoever Ash is aiming for as well. Hanzo is getting a slight buff. His lunge cooldown has been decreased from 5 to 4 seconds. Mei is receiving yet another buff on her ultimate where her blizzard cast time is now being reduced from 0.5 to 0.4 seconds. Fair is receiving a quality of life change to her jump jet where it will now be influenced by directional inputs. Sojourn is actually getting quite an interesting nerf where her torso hit volume is now being increased by 20% which will make her easier to hit. And lastly, Baptiste is receiving a buff on his immortality field. The minimum health threshold is being increased increased from 10 to 25 percent and along with a few bug fixes they updated the competitive ui which will now show the tier legend leaderboard and your competitive progress additionally if you're looking to get your hands on one of the one punch man skins a part of the collab i am running a giveaway on my twitter which i will have linked in the description below i'll be announcing three winners and you can pick whichever skin of your choice Overall, I think the balance patch is kind of okay. I think it could have been a little bit more extensive as the AMA kind of led us to believe that. But overall, I guess I'm okay with it. But what do you guys think about the balance changes? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys enjoyed today's video and you want to come back and see more, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.